Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's it going? I'm beating this cold. <coughs> now it's just a little bit of a cough left, uh, so apologies for random coughs during the stream. But this cold thing got shit on me. Good morning, Kuru, Sanzanart, Kilrathi, Chef Spartan. Always a pleasure to seeing you guys and girls. I don't know which sex you are except Svensson. Ilari. Good morning. Welcome. I actually met uh, Svensson Art um, in person. We were at the same workshop. I was an instructor and he was an attendee. Uh, thanks, Mikhail. I'm w probably like a day away from being clear. Hey, Veronica. Good morning. You made it. Fantastic. <coughs> Svensson. All right. Throw me some topics. Let's do topic number 126. Fisherman woman. <laughs> <coughs> That's funny. Uh, <coughs> badass biker. Telekinetic diving suit. What? That is a cool one, Michal. That is that's that's like smoke some weed topic. Telekinetic diving suit. Furry tractor. Oh god, please, not the furry tractor. Uh, one, two, three, four. We need uh, two more. <clears throat> and please, not fur tractor. Yeah, that is fucked up. So that's it. <laughs> <clears throat> Two more. Come on. You can do it. More topics, more topics. Or there's only four. Hey, good morning, Lou Rip. Give me a topic. We have four. We need two more. Where badger and lava octopus. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Not number four. Number one. And that is Fisherman Woman. Alright. Fisherman Woman by Kuru. Fisherman Woman by Boom. Good morning, Captain Jetlag. Ah, too late, Veronica. And Captain Jetlag. Just, just too late. All right. We got the topic. Timer is starting. Let's do it. Right, so, while I do little tweaks like this, I'm going to start thinking, fisherman, woman. So, I'm thinking, like, um, it's this um, vertical fisher, uh, this girl, um, that, like, she sits on a, like, a stilt. Maybe she's, like, fishing in air, um, and not fishing like fish, but... Um, different kinds of fishing. So they have these poles and they have to um, like sit and and, um, and fish somehow um, flying things. But I was thinking like you know those um, um, sport fishing ones uh, where you sit in a chair and you're like strapped in uh, could say maybe fishing for bears definitely as anyways which I was gonna go to uh, say was um, uh, where my thoughts were leading uh, you know those uh, seats that people uh, like kind of sit and strap themselves into um, on those uh, like 
uh, sport boats. And this girl has a similar one uh, for for whatever she's fishing. Uh, but I'm thinking it should be like an asymmetrical design and uh, having the fishing pole uh, with a weight on it <coughs> and anchored into the pole that she sits on so that she kind of can almost like a crane hey Hikaru good morning glad that you could um, um, make it you are new <laughs> look by the way my son um, set up a tattoo studio uh, in my in my office, he had like, like a lamp and everything, and he said, "Like, you have to um, order tattoos." And I was like, "All right, I want a pirate flag with uh, skulls and bones." And uh, he was like, "All right." He went away, came back, and he gave me like options, like which one of these would you like? And I had to choose one, and he's, he had like markers, and he was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sitting and. Uh, drawing like I washed most of them off but uh, he uh, he was sitting and, and tattooing me in my office and uh, it was really fun like I wanted like okay I want an electric bird that is shooting electricity he was like okay went away sketched out some suggestions <laughs> I was like, oh, that's really good. Uh -huh. Really funny. Hey, good morning, Carl Springer. You could make it. The rib. <laughs> That's really funny. So let's have her like uh, being bored. Like sitting there on her fishing pole. I'll try, I'll try to re remember what he gave me. He gave me a flame down the arm that had the number seven in it. Um, uh, crossed swords in a magical orb. A green monster. A red squid monster. Um, He wrote his name across my knuckles, his sister's name on one side of the arm, my wife's name on the other. He wrote, drew pirate flag. Uh, hilarious. <laughs> Good morning, Alex. You haven't been around for a while. And I was thinking she could have like a like a small lamp so she can see what she's fishing Let's have her give her uh, like very clean arms 
so that they don't stick. Um, that's fine, Alex. Um, glad that you uh, decided to voice your presence. Always more fun with more people. I was seeing her with this kind of weird headgear. Being bored. Just sitting there idling. She should have um, like some some gear. Maybe she's not actually fishing. Maybe she's fishing in um, in a non-destructive way, just to kind of. Maybe she's actually feeding. So by by fishing, it's actually um, like. Um, She helps. Let's say that you know there's a flock of birds, right? And she she feeds the flock by dangling bait of these creatures that they're hunting, in order to um, have them grow. And uh, there's other people capturing them, so she's kind of fishing in reverse, right? She's helping out. Hey, Golden Tigers, good morning. Good morning, good morning. By the way, if you know any women around 30 that's Korean in London that want to be face scanned for a video game, um, there's this company called uh, Bosky. They're making um, a game called um, um, Lawbreakers. They need a Korean face. So just contact uh, Bosky. They made a Facebook post about it. Or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll I'll uh, send it forward to the right person. Alex Dilik, uh, Alex, I'm um, I am uh, I am starting to contemplate it a lot. Yes, uh, I've been um, kind of forging the class in my head again uh, like what how to set it up I will um, I think I'll contact CGMA um, um, most likely I'm gonna be quite busy uh, but I might record it over the Christmas period um, hopefully and uh, having the class may be available next year but I need to talk to CGMA again if they're interested, uh, otherwise I might uh, migrate my le lectures or class to some other online school. Um, we'll see. But uh, I think I got, got a good kind of cool idea of uh, the next class. It's still going to be about character design, uh, but uh, I'm thinking of setting it up slightly differently, um, depending on like what I want to teach. Uh, yeah, Captain Jetlag. Yeah, I do. This is these Chinese fishermen. Uh, 
uh, really, really cool. So let's um, let's uh, show what she's fishing, maybe. Yeah, she has a bag there, but I think it's not um, obvious enough. So I'm thinking of making a, like a, a basket over here. So you say a uh, mentorship. Mentorship was actually something I was playing around with and how to set it up. Um, like, but the, the cool thing about like having a class in that sense with a lot of students is that it, it helps a lot of students by like, uh, by learning together. And if it's a mentorship, it's just like one on one more. Um, I haven't really done that before in that sense. I have done schools so, and one on one feedback and all that, but um, I don't know. I'm not uh, alien to the idea. You know, it's not a, it's not a weird thing. I, I can definitely do it. I just don't, I haven't set it up. And uh, Michal about how differently. Um, it's just about like uh, just the approach how to teach and what to say and how to set the class up um, and uh, like how to inspire in that sense um, I picked up a lot of um, tips and tricks along the years I mean my CGMA class uh, I, I, I recorded it and made the uh, class at 2012 so it's, it's quite old now uh, I definitely figured more stuff out since then, and I think my uh, like lecture at IFCC was pretty good. Um, and I think I will definitely use some of those ideas um, in my lecture in my class, um, but we'll see. Uh, Carl Springer, they uh, they uh, approached me and asked um, if I wanted to teach, and I said, uh, you know, I like the idea because uh, at work I teach a lot. You know, I've been teaching at my job for six years now, or eight, eight or whatever. Seven years, I think I'm kind of reaching at my studio where I work now. So I'm not like alien to the idea uh, of teaching. And I taught at CGMA for four years, I think. Three or four years. But I kind of, I like the idea of teaching. I like the idea of helping someone. And I also like the idea of the way I teach is... Um, not to tell anyone how I do it, but give them a system so that they can design the way they want to. Um, you know, like a design process rather than... Like in the, my CGMA class, of course, I, sh I, I was showing how I did it, but I had so much theory uh, associated with it that they, they, could, they have to do their own take, their own theme. You know, so that they're not, like, on my class I did a vampire, uh, like, soldier. 
uh, like I don't want the, the students to do that. I wanted them to uh, like to do their own theme so that they can apply the theories rather than just mimic. Oh, yeah, it sounds like it's called guinea pig. Um, that's a good idea, Kuro. Let's, um, let's give the birds some kind of different look to them. So it makes some sense. Hey Nobio, good morning. Um, yeah, I think um, Michal, I'm gonna have a part in my com upcoming class about uh, I idea generation because the process I taught in my CGMA class was kind of touching on that subject, but it was just by visually exploring and then making sense out of it. And I, I kind of want to have a part of it where, um, where um, I talk about creating ideas based on more or less, you know, like how I do this 30 minutes. You know, I, I can take an idea and run with it and kind of follow through and see, see where the idea takes me. And I kind of want to touch on that subject and, and how, to, how to practice that. Um, and how to get good at it, because I mean, all, all I'm doing with these warm ups are, are just you know straight drawing, no reference, and just kind of going with the flow. And I think that's, um, of course, something that comes with um, mileage. You know, I'm, I've practiced, but I think by by talking about it and 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 explaining my thought process could be a useful thing to learn for someone who wants to catch up you know I don't know but I was thinking of having that in my new class like touching on the subject of uh, creativity guidelines Well, definitely, but I think there's a process there that a lot of people are not thinking about, and if you if you try to explain it, um, I think it it becomes clearer at what you need to do, and like anything without structure is always random, which causes the results to be to be random, right? Uh, but the more structure you have, the easier it is to have a uh, uh, what's it called steady quality. Uh, no, that's not the right wording. Uh, not equal uh, consistent. There we go, consistent.
more consistent quality. So I think by by following a certain pattern, it's easy to to uh, um, be creative. Like my like a big part of the talk, or like my f finishing talk in my um, IFCC lecture was. Um, one of them was to allow yourself to fail, which is a huge part of being creative. Like if you're too scared to fail, you're never going to try something new and come up with something original. Besides, coming up with something original is super, <laughs> super hard. Oh really, Golden Tigers? What was the what was the suggest? Uh, what was the advice? yours. <laughs> All right. Lou Rib, yeah, definitely go for it. It's going to take a longer time, though, most likely, to get hired. Because you gotta, you have to fill more gaps in your knowledge base. But uh, I think it'll, it'll be good. Last night, my cat had uh, jumped up on the kitchen counter and uh, knocked down like cutlery and oil bottle and things. Like, so in the middle of the night, I was sleeping. I just heard this kind of bang noises. I thought it was some, you know, <laughs> intruder or whatever. But I knew it also. It was the cat. It was from the kitchen. And I was just thinking, you know, like, Damn you, cat. Why do you have to be so curious? And this morning, like this cat just thought it was a great idea to mess with me. This morning, the cat peed outside the litter box because she was kind of. She's too princess-like to to move what she had done during the night when I was sleeping. So she was kind of occupying a corner of the litter box rather than just kind of peeing on her pee. And uh, 
she of course kind of half peed into the litter box. That, that you know, you know, fine. You have an animal at your home. You know, you have to uh, on occasion clean up after them. But she peed so that the pee ran underneath a bookshelf that is anchored to the wall. <laughs> So I was sitting there cursing the cat, and like, how the... F so I kind of tried to get as much up as I possible, and then we have these, uh, this kind of enzyme wash, you can wash, um, take out odors with, this really effective wash, so that like if it, the cat pees on your bed it doesn't smell like pee you know it's a really efficient way to remove it so I kind of poured it underneath the bookshelf <laughs> hoping hoping it will it'll sort the smell out it doesn't smell though I went and smelled uh, after the school run and uh, it wasn't stinking cat pee which is good but uh, anyways, was it like the first thing I had to do this morning was to sit and <laughs> deal with cat pee. Your cat pee stinks really a lot, yeah. You don't want cat pee in your home. I mean, you, you, you don't need to if you don't mind the cat pee smell, but it is very prevalent cat pee smell. It's not very pleasant at all. One minute left. Why? Stupid, stupid. Let's give her pink eyes instead. Could be more fun. Yeah. Losing some of that that readability because I went to yellow. Yeller. Let's go with green instead and actually and now we can switch back to 
comment. All right, that's it. Uh, Kuru. Um, no idea. It's so personal, you know, like. So I said, yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing when I said pink eye. Uh, all right. Thank you very much for coming. Um, thank you very much for the topic, uh, Kuru. It was fun to do, fun thing to explore. Um, have a great day, great night. Good morning, whatever, <laughs> wherever you are in the world. Um, have a fantastic time, and uh, until next time. And uh, yeah, thank you, everyone. Bye.